And here we have the heart of the operation. This assembly line is capable of producing 10,000 humanoid units per month. Actuator tolerance here seemed too tight for the high-speed wiring. We could reroute the main conduit to the secondary spine. That aligns with the assembly sequence downstairs. Frame assembly, actuators, sensors, AI brain, and finally, testing. Look at the torque readings on the left ankle joint. It's fluctuating slightly, but still within tolerance. Check the joint torque on the right ankle. Looks stable. Gait symmetry is within acceptable parameters. Run the next sequence on the color sorter. Copy that. The metrics look good so far. Let's see if we can push the throughput. Scan shows green across the board. Power levels stable. Good. Let's finalize the sequence. After years of development, we are proud to introduce the culmination of our efforts. This is the future of human-robot collaboration.
The sensor logs confirm the calibration passed on all axes. Agreed. The point cloud alignment looks perfect now. Let's push the update. Complete. Check the status on the new update for Unit 7. It's running the regression tests now. Policy 4 is still pending review. We need that cleared before final deployment tonight. The hydraulics are holding steady at full extension. Good. Let's push the cycles to the limit and check the fatigue data. The R205 is still showing a yellow flag on the stress test. Agreed. We need to prioritize the flagged unit immediately and run diagnostics. We need to increase the throughput for the sensor stage. If we reroute the calibration sequence, we can clear the bottleneck in testing. Rerouting now. When an incident occurs, firmly press the e-stop. As you can see, the light turns red and the audible alarm will sound until the system is reset. Pay close attention to the calibration sequence. Ensure you are clear of the marked safety zone while the arm is in motion. As you can see by this graph, the expansion area will significantly increase our output. Yes, the numbers align perfectly with the strategic plan. The cycle time on arm B is slightly slower today. Yes, I'm seeing a delta of 0.2 seconds on the last five picks. Behind me, you can see the seamless integration of our articulated arms and autonomous vehicles. This is the next step in sustainable and efficient production. The photo op is done. All right, I'm checking the diagnostics now. And then let's adjust the torque settings on the assembly arm.
synchronization levels holding steady at 99.8%. Acknowledged. We are clear for phase two deployment. Throughput is dropping on line B. The sensor array shows a critical error. We need to reroute. Acknowledged. Initiating diagnostic protocol. This unit failed the stress test right here. Check the dashboard. The, late, the latest update shows a pass now. All right, accepted. Look at the throughput in the testing phase. We're exceeding targets. Reorganization of the assembly line clearly paid off. We are ready for deployment. Check the voltage regulator on the chest plate. It's fluctuating. Rerouting power now. Looks stable. The readout here suggests the current limiter is tripping too early. Check the equations on the board. We might need to recalibrate the sensitivity threshold. As you can see, the next-gen model shows a 40% efficiency gain on the lifting mechanism. And the power consumption during the transition phase. Significantly reduced, yes. Oh. 